What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome to the 10k subscriber special in which you guys wanted me to show you guys uh, my setup here for all of the YouTube stuff, streaming, all that kind of cool stuff and we're just gonna get right into it I guess. This is There's a lot to show and I'm pretty bad at vlogs and, um, and, and just setup videos in general so we'll get right into it. The last time that I actually showed you guys my setup was it 2,000 subscribers? So that's a hell of a long time ago, but it doesn't really, if you want to take a look at it in terms of dates, it wasn't that long ago, which is crazy. That means the support that you guys have given me is just ridiculous. So this is where we're going to enter, ent enter, not ender. We're not playing Minecraft. Uh, this first thing first, you walk in is some trophies. As you can see, there's some more over there. Uh, that's commemorating all of my hockey stuff, which I do miss quite a lot. Uh, directly to the left, we got some shoes, we got some guitars and some school stuff, and then, if you want to turn to your right, kabam, you got everything what, uh, what you guys all care about, at least I presume what you you care about, because you clicked on the video and you, you tweeted at me to do a setup video, so, here it is, um, a thousand subscribers late, but here it is nonetheless, um, I guess, I guess we can just start with everything. This chair, first off, this is absolutely ridiculously comfy. Like 80 pounds, but totally worth the weight because I can sit in this all day and still be happy. Um, yeah. So, let's just go from right to left because that's probably what all you guys want to see in terms of how cool everything is. Uh, it, like, gradually gets a little bit better. So... <laughs> Um, the first one, the Xbox 360 White, that was my original console. That was from 2005. OG represent, baby. That thing lasted me for so long, and I am eternally grateful for how it served me. It was pretty good up until about the last year, because then everything started to push out what that console could do. And then I kind of had a bunch of games freeze, mostly GTA, and that was what made me mad because I love GTA, wanted to play it, but every single time, it would just freeze. So that black one there, I got that from my good buddy Austin, he lent it to me, and speaking of which, I actually should probably give that back because I don't use the 360s anymore since I'm primarily an Xbox One player now. And then we'll take a look, we got a bunch of games up here. Uh, these are all just Xbox One titles. These are probably like the dirtiest of my setup right now simply because there's no Nothing neatly put away or anything like that, but we got GTA NHL 15 Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Alien Isolation Far Cry Destiny Forza and Ghosts Blah Blah, I think it's gross Um, oh and up here. This was my 360 controller. Oh, as I say, I'm looking at a wall up here um this was my uh, my 360 controller, probably one of my favorite controllers absolutely ever. It's a Razer Sabertooth. It is like a scuff, but it is three times cheaper. As you can see, there's like there's there's paddles on the back. I'm gonna try and get a better shot here for you. Like you got paddles on the top and bottom of each side, so you can program them all differently and all that kind of stuff. They're all remappable, so it's definitely worth the 80 bucks for that. Though they don't have one for uh, Xbox One just yet. And that'll move over us that'll move us over into my Xbox One. This bad boy, love it to death. Minus the fact that it has a lot of technical problems. If you could have like the uh, just the simplicity of PlayStation 4. Oh, focus, focus, there you go. Of PlayStation 4 and then 360, because 360 had so many good things with it. But then since it's next gen, they're like, nah, we can't keep anything easy. So they tried to overcomplicate everything and it screwed everything up. But overall, I do love this thing. It's still a beast. Definitely worth the money that I paid for it, I think. Um, and then we got some controllers here. This is my standard Xbox One controller that came with the actual console. And then this one, the one that I actually use constantly, is a Scuf One. It's a Scuf One Yin Yang. Uh, you might not be able to see, but the thumbsticks are actually black. I have control freaks on it. We'll get to that in a second. But, as you can see, we got the paddles on the back here for this. This one, that's my left. Okay, it's, it's right for you guys. So, that's my B. And then, uh, over here, we got our A. So, we got two paddles. Initially, when I was buying a scuff at first, I wasn't sure if I wanted to get two or four paddles. But, two definitely works for me. Four, I do feel like, would be a little bit too cluttered. But, 
Uh, I will never know because I didn't get four. Um, so the other things with this, uh, I do have uh, trigger stops. Actually, let me show you from this side because that's where my finger's at right now. Trigger stops right here. So it doesn't go, it doesn't have to push all the way down. Um, helps tremendously in first person shooter games. Um, yeah, other than that, we just have uh, control freaks. That's another question I get all the time. Um, I always get the combination of do you have scuff and do you use control freaks? My answer to that is yes to both because uh, my control freaks, I can't play Call of Duty or any other stick game, console game without control freaks really. Um, pretty crazy. I've become very dependent on them. Love them tremendously. And yeah, moving on. We have two TVs. This one I don't even ever touch. I couldn't tell you the last time. I, the Probably the last time I turned that on actually was probably about two to three years ago. Not even kidding you. Um, I had a, uh, a box receiver for it so I could get satellite in here, but it just stopped working. So it really didn't really like do anything. There's no, um, there is no like HD component cables even on the back of that. So it is completely worthless for gaming. Uh, that's why I play all of my games on this thing. It's a Toshiba. I want to say like 28, maybe 32 inch TV. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Obviously it's not a monitor. So the response time is like a 0.0002 or whatever, whatever it is. That's like lower than the response time of a monitor, but it's all good. I still pwn noobs. I still slam out right here. We got my turtle beach X. I want to say 11s. These things have been with me for a while too on 360. And I moved them over with the chat adapter on my Xbox one. Uh, and they've just been good to me ever since. Right here, up here, is the, uh, I want to say, Logitech C930, I want to say. Uh, it's the 1080p 60, no, 1080p 30 frames per second, and 720 60p one. Um, but this little, like, shader thing, I was honestly cleaning up my setup so I can show you guys it. I didn't realize that I had it, but it covers the lens. Pretty cool. Uh, but that's what we do for all face cam videos and all my live streams, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I use for that. Definitely a step up from what I had previously. Um, moving along, we got some water. I know in the last setup video I did, I showed you guys my drink that I had on my table. It's a lot more healthier than the Mountain Dew last time, but say la vie. Oh, pardon me. That was quite rude, actually, not going to lie. Um, this, I don't even know why I have it on here. It was a component to HDMI converter box. I never used it once because my initial Elgato, which is right down here in my... My gaming graveyard. Oh, we got some Rice Krispie treats. My gaming graveyard. We got um my my old HD uh, not HD uh, 60. Uh, my old Elgato, and it had uh, it had component cables that you could plug in for AV and all that kind of stuff. So it was pretty cool. It worked out well. Um, sorry, just moving some things back over so it gets all tidy because I just cleaned this off for nothing if I dirty it all up again. But then. We got our HD60 right here. This is my bad boy. Love it to death. Brand new uh, in terms of on the market. 1080p, 60 frames per second shooting, and it is absolutely incredible. Elgato never ceases to uh, amaze me, and th it's just great. I would recommend it to everybody. Um, there were some problems initially, but I, we got them resolved 100%. Uh, completely love this thing. Could not do any of my videos without it. That's where all the 1080p 60 frames per second video comes from. Right here, we got a um, we got an Ethernet switch, which allows me to have multiple wired connections going from my computer to my Xbox One and Xbox 360s. I like wired connections just because there's not any latency, and I feel like I get a lot more stronger connection too, um, like just in terms of download and upload speeds and kind of stuff like that. Um, so I have that going. I have multiple ethernet cables going off that all wired. I'm a wired person. I would never show you my wired setup for my computer and behind these monitors because it's absolutely atrocious. But yeah, so now moving over into the main attraction here, we got my PC. Um, and actually depending on who you, depending on who you're talking to main attraction for some, maybe not for others. It is really hard to like balance the light here because if I focus it on my monitor, it goes dark. And if I focus it on wood, on the wood grain of the uh, the desk, it just throws everything off on my computer. So, uh, firstly, we got nope. Stay focused there. Okay, we got my blue yeti. That is what I use to record all of my uh, my commentary. Hopefully, you guys enjoy my my beautiful voice. Uh, ho hopefully, a lot of the like effects and stuff are done post editing. So that's why this probably won't be anything special. Um, maybe, I don't know, 
you might like my voice regardless. Next we got like a it's a it's a Neewer, just a standard boom arm. Uh, it, it does the job pretty well. Holds it up and it'll swivel, swivel this bad boy around. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, we got an Aza gaming keyboard and mouse. It came with my my PC. I didn't change anything up. And down here, I'm hoping this is like take two of my setup video. That little black box you can see right there. That is my custom built PC. Absolute beast of a machine. Oh, stay stay focused. Don't don't lose the lighting. Right there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, that I that is my probably greatest investment ever honestly love it so much um that's probably the best shot we can get though because it's all dark down there and i have no light source um the next thing that i want to show you guys is my headset that i use for editing list editing videos listening to music and pretty much anything that i do that regards or in relation to sound on my computer this is a sennheiser um i don't remember the actual model number the headphones but they are studio grade headphones and if you're somebody that loves music or just audio in general, um, definitely go big or go home. Uh, Sennheiser and Audio Technica and people like them that major in music definitely is worth the cost. 100%. I will guarantee you love it every single portion of it. Um, definitely a beautiful sound. This right here is just some miscellaneous stuff that we have on my desk. Uh, we got the jam. It's a jam box. Um, I, I don't remember who, it might be just their own company, uh, that, you know what, I'm, I'll be totally honest with you, I jam out in the shower with this, I listen to music, sing in the shower, kind of poorly, but it's, it's all good, we all have fun, got some pens for school, got some stuff that needs to go in my wallet, this thing's actually really sweet, this thing is, is, it's called a, uh, <laughs> oh, it's backwards, it's called a, uh, a wallet ninja, it's got, like, absolutely everything you need, you can have, you have, like, screwdriver, uh, bits, you have um, measurements for, for other bits. You got a bottle opener. You got like everything. It, it's it's pretty sweet. It's a stocking stuffer gift that I got not too long, this past Christmas, not too long ago, obviously. Um, we got some white chocolate because obviously you need some game fuel when you're, you're playing some long sessions of Call of Duty and all that kind of stuff. We got a name tag here because sometimes I forget my name. It's always Equal Eye Espresso, Equal Eye Espresso. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Equal Eye Espresso. Stuff like that. So sometimes I forget my name is Jordan. Sad reality. No, just just kidding. That's that is a um, it's an actual name tag for my Burger King uniform that I hate having here because it reminds me of work. But I'm gonna lose it otherwise. If not, we got some headphones. We got an old mouse for a laptop. We got an old iPhone. Uh, we got some some demos for my band's new new album. Peep the mixtape, fam. Peep the mixtape. Uh, and we just got some keys for my car and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, that's that's really it, dudes. So uh, as you guys can see here, let's let's focus it in. We're at eleven thousand twenty-two. You know what? Let's refresh it. It might even it might even have gone up in the public public statistics. Nope, still eleven thousand twenty-two. Let's say I, I only did this video last time. Focus. I only did this video like ten minutes ago already. Uh, and then we got. What I use to record commentary is Adobe Audition. That is a uh, top secret project. You can't look at that. So, um, yeah, dudes. That one more, one more pan, one more pan across. Stay in focus. There you go. We'll get some light on it there. There you go. That's good. Uh, this is the setup. This is what I do every day when I make the the magic happen on. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it, dudes. Thank you guys so much. Seriously, hopefully you guys did enjoy this little setup for you guys. Setup video. Um, yeah, I, I got nothing else. Seriously though, but um, the biggest thing, honestly, thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. Blows my mind because that, I said this on Twitter a couple times and maybe even on YouTube once or twice. 10,000 was the goal that I set out to, to hit whenever I first started YouTube on a few channels ago. This wasn't even my main channel. Um, and once that we actually hit this, it, it's so surreal because it's like, what do you do next? And, uh, hopefully we're still in focus here. Um, it, it's like, what do you do next? Cause it's really weird and almost bittersweet, but I'm definitely looking forward to the future. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. Thank you for 11,000 subscribers, actually, uh, being that this is 1000 subscribers late, uh, the support has just been mind blowing. 
and I can't wait to to look forward to the future with you guys because we're gonna have some awesome content. I promise you. All the news for Call of Duty 2015, whatever it may be, Black Ops 3, whatever it is, I'll definitely be covering every single piece for you guys, as well as bringing you guys the best content that I can. And that that's really it, dudes. Thank you so much. Little hearts of heart with you guys. Love you all so much for the support, and I love you all for continuing to come out day in and day out to just my channel, checking out what I have to bring to you guys. It seriously blows my mind that 11,000 people at one point in time are like, your stuff's cool. Let's subscribe for more. It's... Oh my god, dude. It's 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 crazy. So thank you guys so much. I'm not going to waste any more time just being sentimental and heart-to-heart -heart with you dudes. Thank you so much. My name is Vinny Cola Espresso. As always, hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Right, motherfucker.